you and uh, welcome to another FXGen House tutorial. Uh, on this tutorial for Cinema 4D, I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, soft bodies and uh, how to control dynamics to make uh, cool animations on Cinema 4D. So, uh, also, I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, this kind of a uh, slow motion uh, for your projects here at uh, Cinema 4D. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So, uh, let's uh, jump on a new project and uh, let's go, guys. Okay guys, so now that we have our Cinema 4D open, uh, we can now start our project. So um, I already have my scene set file for that uh, Infinite Studio background. Uh, you can check it out on an early tutorial that I did on my channel. It's uh, just a scene for us to, to start this tutorial like faster. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a cube in there. I'm going to bring this a little bit up. And on this cube, I'm going to make uh, this cube a child of uh, hypernerves. And uh, now I'm going to go to the segments of the cube. I'm going to increase one over here and another one over here just um, for us to have a more detailed object uh, to work with. So uh, uh, now that we have this, we can make a right click and um, have our object like edited and separated from the rest. So um, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to make a null object over this one. Just press Alt and G and um, just uh, hide this guy. So uh, now we have our object like uh, like ready and set to, to work with and uh, we can start our, uh, adding our tags so uh, I'm going to make a right click and I'm going to move a simulation tags I'm going to put a soft body and if I press play uh, you see that your soft body like gets like uh, you can see on the floor gets smashed on the floor and, uh, already looking cool but uh, we can make uh, this looking a lot cooler so uh, on, the, on the simulation tags uh, we can work a lot on the soft body uh, settings. So uh, I'm going here on the soft body settings. I'm going to put this pressure to about uh, 15. It's cool. And I'm going to put the stiffness to about 10, and um, and the flexion uh, to like 70. Yeah, 70 is okay. And on the collision here, I'm going to bring this bounce a little bit, like to like to edit it's cool and I'm bring, going to bring the friction to about 60 and if you press play you see that your that your object, object uh, is gets like uh, it's not getting uh, like smashed uh, as it was on the first time um, because uh, the dynamics are already working it, on it so uh, it looks a lot cooler so uh, you can you can bring a little bit more bounce on this and you see that your object uh, bounces a little bit more. But uh, how can I say? To have uh, this bounciness like working better, um, the, I think the bounce uh, works. Uh, how can I say? Uh, with the with the stiffness. If you put the, the stiffness, uh, I can say a little bit more more up. And if you press play, uh, you see that your object gets. Uh, how can I say? It gets more stiff and uh, it gets more and more bounces, so uh, it works a lot cooler. So uh, that's what I did for the uh, for this intro animation that I did for the this tutorial. So um, this is the animation basically that I did. I just bring this a little bit up, and if I press play, you see that your your sphere or your object already gets bounced and then uh, looking cool. So uh, to make a render. You see that your your cube has a, a cool uh, a cool detail. You don't, you don't, uh, it's looking cool. So uh, what we can do now, uh, just uh, bring another uh, another object or another sphere here. And just uh, drag this up, drag this up a little bit here. Just put it over here. And if you press play, uh, it's a little bit slower because you already have uh, two objects. Uh, uh, a lot uh, like uh, with the cool detail uh, working with it and um, the computer uh, needs to to work them out so uh, if you see the the collision is looking really cool and uh, and I think it's it's uh, soft bodies are really cool on Cinema 4D but um, I think like uh, we don't people don't don't work like uh, a lot with soft bodies so uh, I just wanted to make a tutorial on this short uh, intro that I did and I um, hope you're enjoying this tutorial so uh, uh, now that I have the, the animation uh, I'm going to pass by and uh, to show you how to 
how to make a slow motion on this. So uh, let me see the, the animation. Yeah, it's looking cool. I think it, uh, for our tutorial, I think it's enough. So um, you can you can also do on your animation, like m make more spheres and all that, but uh, I don't want to drag down the, what can I say, that uh, the recordings and the tutorial. And uh, I think it's uh, self-explanatory. So uh, now that we have uh, our animation, you're going to uh, you're going to select your both tags. You're going to cache. You're going to bake this cache because uh, once that you have your bake it cache, uh, your computer you have already the animation like uh, running, and you can. Uh, I'm not going to say it's l less heavier to to work with uh, the full animation. So. Uh, so it's good to bake our, can I say, our our simulations so uh, so that that we can have like a fast uh, viewer of the of the thing. So uh, if you press play, you see that the the animation likes totally different. It's uh, it's on the time and it's, it's looking really cool. So uh, what we can do now, we can do the the slow motion part. So uh, I'm going to bring this a little bit over here. I'm going to to our project settings and um, in the project settings I'm going to to time scale. Let me see the animation goes over here and then bounces over. I'm going to put over here it's going to be 100. It's okay. I'm going to make a um, control and click to, to bring a keyframe over here, 100. And I'm going to put this over 30, 39. I'm going, going to bring this to 20. I'm going to make another keyframe over here. And then I'm going to bring this on about 67. I'm going to make another keyframe on 20. And I'm going to put this on 60. I'm going to bring this on 100. And I'm going to make another click. So uh, if you go backwards, I mean, if you see, oh, what, man? We don't have like uh, the slow motion thing. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Um, I've been trying to do this, and uh, it happened to me. And uh, uh, it's very easy because um, uh, you have this animation because you make it your cache. So uh, you're going to you're going to your cache again. You're going to make a right click. You're going to break this, and then the end on the you're going to see that you have a, you already have your I can say your slow motion thing, and uh, your animation is looking a lot cooler. So, uh, so I think it's working. So let's just bake this. And let's see how uh, how uh, our animation is going. So, uh, uh, as as I say, uh, soft bodies are really cool, and I uh, already did a lot of things with it. So. Uh, I just wanted to make a tutorial for you guys just to have a cool thing for the weekend. So, uh, as you see, when it gets to 45, it gets a little bit slower. And there it is, our slow motion on Cinema 4D. So, uh, uh, this was a tutorial, guys. I just had a little bit of time for 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 make a tutorial for, your, for my channel. Because I have a lot of projects uh, and a lot of things to do. And that is going to be a... Another crazy week, uh, a weekend of working, so I just wanted to pass by and leave you guys this, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So uh, see you guys on another tour or another or on another client project, guys. So uh, see you guys. Bye. Okay. Okay.